Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Leanne. In today's video, I have four RV organization hacks just for you. Stay tuned. Okay, whether you're new to RVing or you've been doing this for a while, there still might be some things in your RV that need to be organized. Maybe you bought something new and you need to make space for it, or um, maybe you've just kind of accumulated some stuff that you need to throw some stuff out and reorganize it. Hopefully one or more of these hacks will help you get organized. The four hacks that I'm gonna share with you are four things in the camper that were just annoying to me. Four things that weren't organized very well and just wasn't functional. So hack number one is for board games. So here's what our game cabinet looked like before. A hot mess. When we moved from the house to the camper, I condensed the games that we wanted to keep down from their original boxes to smaller plastic bins, which worked at first, but quickly turned into this mess. Mrs. Happily Gilmore on TikTok shared what she did in her home with some mesh zip bags, and I knew it would be perfect for this small space. I was able to get rid of all this, and now our games are easy to get to and perfectly organized. I used my label maker to label each game so it's easy to find exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so here are the bags. They're very sturdy. Um, the zipper's pretty good. I mean, they just work really well. Keeps all the pieces. This is Pictionary. Um, and then they just sort of fit into a, like right next to each other. You don't even need anything to stack them like a pan holder or file cabinet thingy. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, like what you would organize lids with or files or whatever. You could stick these in there, but you don't even have to. You can just set them side by side and they stay up. Anyway, on Amazon, you can get these a bunch of different sizes. This is the size that worked best for us. I think it's a eight by 14, um, but I will leave a link in the description for exactly the ones that I purchased. Speaking of links, those are affiliate links. And if you use our affiliate links, thank you very much. It does help our channel. And if you order something from our links, uh, we do earn a small commission. So thank you. Hack number two is for grocery bags. We all have them. They were a point of pain in the house for me. Um, I did have a couple things that, that worked after a while. I mean, I can't even remember what I did with my bags actually before my mother-in-law made me this fabric bag holder that was just like a, a tube and you could shove them in there. There was like um, elastic on the bottom and they easily come in and out and it was actually quite handy but before that I can't even remember what I did but I'm sure it was a big pain in the neck but anyway so that bag holder doesn't work well in the RV um, because there's not a lot of wall space and it does need to hang on a wall and so that I just it just wasn't working for me under the sink I just put them in like this plastic container that's what I've been doing but I found something that works much better. A lot of our beers recommend this one, this white, little white one, and I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Um, and I say little, it doesn't look little in the pictures. And I was like, oh, that's great. That'll, that'll work really well. But when I saw it, I actually saw it in the store, um, in camping world. It is so small. And I have a lot of bags and I mean, it was really tiny. So anyway, my daughter actually saw this one on TikTok and showed it to me and I ordered it. This bag holder looks nice and is super functional. I felt like with the little white one that bags would fall out of the top. It comes with a 3M sticky on the back and hardware so you can hang it either way. I went with the easy stick up and it is holding up nicely so far. I wanted to keep them out of sight under the sink but still easy to access and I found the perfect spot.
Once it's stuck up there good, you just push your bags through the hole on top until it's as full as you want and then pull out a bag from the slot as you need them. Now for RV organization hack number three, the medicine cabinet. It's so tiny and I could not figure out how to get things organized in there. Um, you want to use your vertical space as much as possible. Really, it's good to do that even in your home because it just helps everything to be much more organized. But in a small space, it's really almost critical to use vertical space. That's why people always say command hooks, command hooks, because you can use all your vertical space. So my goal with the medicine cabinet was to do just that just to go up with it. There was gaps and I couldn't find anything. Um, I mean, I kind of knew where stuff was, but I had to dig and stuff was always falling out and it was just super annoying. So here we go. I found these acrylic pen holders at Walmart in the office supply section where they have desk organization stuff and office organization stuff and they fit perfect in the medicine cabinet. I'm hoping to make more room in the cabinet for some of this stuff on the counter. So here's the before. It doesn't look too bad, just not the best use of this space. I started by taking everything out, wiped out the cabinet, tossed any trash, and got rid of excess packaging. I decided that stacking the pencil holders with the containers I already had was the best way to use the vertical space in this teeny tiny medicine cabinet. It took a bit of finagling to get everything back in the cabinet in a way that was most functional. And what I mean by functional is when you use something, it's easy to take out and put back in the exact same place. The organization functions well, and not just for me, everyone can see where the item is um, that they need and where it lives. I try to put things that aren't used often behind things that are used daily. Um, you guys, it took me a hot second to get it just right. The thing is, I wanted it so that my family could easily keep it organized and I wouldn't have to redo this. I think I started getting delirious because I knew full well that these two detangling sprays were not going to fit in this drawer and I still tried a second time. Oh, now you're thinking. Here we are all organized. It's been working perfectly and I added labels to the acrylic boxes too. The moment of truth, it survived its first shakedown. Absolutely nothing moved during travel day. And now last but not least, RV organization hack number four, the spice cabinet. In the house, I had glass spice jars and I, I have a lot of spices because I like to cook and that's just too much weight for an RV. It's added unnecessary weight. So I switched to some plastic spice jars that have cute little labels on them. Um, little chalkboard labels and it came with like a chalkboard or, or chalk marker <laughs> I guess yeah marker it was a marker um, and then I was my thought because they they're cute my thought was I was originally going to hang them on the wall because I did have some spices hanging on the wall in the house and it looked cute like farmhousey country looking and I liked it so Anyway, that's what I was going to do, but um, I quickly realized that that just wasn't going to work. I didn't want to put holes in the wall. Um, 
just a lot of reasons, not a lot of wall space. So what I did was I used the cabinet, the whole cabinet above my stove is nothing but spices. So I bought bins. Take a look. I picked up these gray plastic bins at Walmart and used some wire shelves I already had to utilize all that vertical space. I have to slightly lift the wire shelf to get the spices in the bins, but it's not a big deal to me. Also, the shelves have a little lip to keep the bins in place, so after traveling, when you open the cabinet, all the spices won't fall on your head. I do plan to add more labels just to make it quicker and easier to get the spices I need. Another thing I used in the house was the spicy shelf. You can get these at Walmart, on Amazon, uh, probably Target. I think I've seen them at Target too. Um, but it's just this little shelf that uses vertical space and it lines like the cabinet and all your spices are just neatly arranged. Um, that worked really well in the house. And I thought I might use that in the camper, but with traveling stuff will just fall over anyway. So it just it isn't functional um, for a camper. It might work for someone else in a camper, just depending on how things are situated. But um, I will leave a link in the description to a blog post I wrote about the spicy shelf. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope that one or more of these RV organization hacks will work for you, maybe even in your home. We are actually getting ready to leave here. Uh, we're on our spring break. And we're going to have a whole week at Lake Mead. And I'm so excited. We'll have some great footage for you. Um, we got some paddle boards and stuff. So hopefully it'll be, it'll be fun. And hopefully you enjoy it. So we will see you next time.